as i told you stack is very widely used data structure it is very widely used and uh, when you take the operating system the operating system uses stack extensively os uses stack uses stack extensively because uh, whenever it runs a program it attaches a stack to this program so what uh, the uh, os does this whenever there is a program executed a stack is added to the program because uh, this stack is used uh, used when the function calling is made when you call a function call a function stock is added why stock is required for function is uh, it uh, suppose if i take some function main and uh, you are calling some test function so from here you are calling test now when uh, i call test from here now uh, there will be uh, some data suppose 20 i pause here data so what happens whatever local variables that are there in this will be pushed into the stock this is one thing then we are calling so after the uh, execution of this test uh, it has to come back here so uh, it will also push the return address of uh, uh, return address of the statement to which uh, we have to come back after executing the function so uh, local variables of the uh, calling function will be pushed into the stock. Uh, the return address is pushed into the stock. The parameters are pushed into the stock. The parameters that are there that they are pushed into the stock. Then when the uh, the control is transferred to the function and the parameter which is pushed is popped. So that's how it is. Uh, it is done. Then it uh, completes the execution of this test and it will come back. Uh, to uh, it will pop the return address and come back it will pop the local variables and it will continue this is how it is uh, required suppose uh, if i call another function from here suppose if i call some function called process again this is pushed so process will be here and after i execute this i have to get back the recently sent uh, return address local variables so i have to get back this uh, uh, test data and local variables from stock not main because this is the latest one so this uh, kind of uh, uh, execution requires lifo this kind of execution requires lifo that's why we go for stock so without our knowledge when we run the program stock uh, os uses stock extensively this is one very important uh, application of stock the second application of stock is uh, when you take these uh, uh, expressions, arithmetic expressions, they are uh, uh, executed by uh, uh, CPU in postfix notation. What is that? I'll give you later. So uh, we give the expressions in, in fix. So uh, one of the application of uh, the stock is conversion from in fix to postfix. What is this? I'll give you because it is there in your syllabus. And third thing is evaluating the postfix. Evaluating postfix. This is one more application. Then uh, whenever you use a graph, graph has uh, uh, two traversals. One is uh, uh, depth first search, another is uh, breadth first search. So DFS of uh, uh, graph, the stock is used. Uh, even if you don't know what is DFS, don't worry. Even if you don't know infix and postfix, uh, you don't uh, worry because we are going to learn those things. Even DFS, I think uh, we are going to learn as per the syllabus. Then even if I take tree traversals, we are going to learn about tree. Tree traversals also we require the uh, graph. Tree traversals also we require the graph. And so the first is uh, in calling functions. So calling functions actually it is done automatically by the operating system in this uh, other applications will be implementing them. So when you call a function uh, there is a kind of special calling which is recursion. This is another topic. I think it is there in your syllabus. So this recursion also we are going to see. So these are the different applications of stock. So calling function uh, operating system extensively uses then uh, conversion from infix expression to postfix, evaluation of postfix, uh, 
implementation of depth first search of graph and uh, implementation of tree traversals uh, tree traversals or traversals of tree there are different traversal like in, uh, in order post order pre order all those traversals will be done with the help of uh, uh, with the help of stock so these are uh, uh, the different applications of stock and uh, in this uh, uh, chapter in this unit only we are going to see uh, this two and this is not uh, it is actually done automatically but uh, uh, will we can also uh, uh, explore that how it is happening uh, we'll see if possible we'll see that how uh, it is happening and uh, uh, then uh, in tree traversal uh, there is a separate topic we are going to learn about that uh, about tree and traversals we learn there so this is uh, uh, these are the applications of stock so stock is a very widely used data structure because why it is widely used several operations required this leafo because of this leafo so several operations requires a leafo because stock is a leafo data structure so wherever leafo is required whichever data item inserted last should come out first then uh, we require stock like calling function we require a leafo uh, infix to postfix leafo evaluation of postfix leafo dfs uh, of graph uh, we require leafo and traversal of tree we require leafo for wherever uh, leafo is required uh, because many operations re requires this leafo so we uh, use stock there so these are the different applications of stock